Watch with the threat of Hurricane Irene underway. Governor Daniel Malloy is asking Connecticut residents to take the necessary precautions. Of course, News Age Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis live on our Hartford Newsroom with more on that tonight. Good evening, Mark. Good, good evening, Keith and Ann. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. We all know the drill here. We've all been through it before. And tonight, state government is gearing up and paying attention. Checking uh, our preparations, um, uh, understanding where our assets are to be deployed, uh, obviously watching um, uh, earnestly the, the, the track of the storm, trying to understand what the implications are and what the range of implications are. It's clear to everyone that if the storm continues on its current track, that the eastern shoreline will be the area of most concern. And today, the heads of the state police said that deploying members to the southeast will be a high priority. During a news conference to assure the public that public safety will not be jeopardized by the layoffs today of 34 state troopers, the commissioner said preparations are underway for extra long shifts. Lieutenant Col Colonel Corona, who is in charge of uh, the field, is making arrangements to, uh, I think, go on 12 and 12, if we have to, whatever's necessary. The governor says as soon as it's clear what the impact is likely to be, he'll begin press briefings on a regular basis. And we're certainly going to uh, begin a, a, a pretty good communications uh, uh, effort with our citizens uh, uh, anywhere from uh, 12 to 24 hours from now and, and uh, as we uh, start to zero in on, on a probable track. Now, I spoke today with my dear old friend, Dr. Mel, who told me that he was considering having someone put plywood over the windows on his shoreline home there in East Haven. So, you know, if Dr. Mel is thinking about that, it's time for all of us to pay attention. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.